eldest child and Sam was not. She struggled a little bit more with social situations and things like that. Just a little sad. Dear Samantha, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you of a mission to create a writing track on the, the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio. And pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuitions and fees. Nice. The attached documentation delineates your schedule, optional secondary track courses, and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the three Reed full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded to exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes to us at Reed College. Wow, I've been playing for a while. I didn't even realize. Hmm. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. That's sad. Uh, if this thing makes me cry, I'm going to be upset. Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book and author's first published manuscript is Momentous Occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter and author's work is the externalization of what which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliche and implausible dime store science fictional De Ex Machina. The great authors speak of their lives milieu in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better with the Father's love and encouragement. Hmm. That's mom's citizenship stuff. So mom's basically on the verge of having an affair and Sam is going through a crisis of a relationship crisis in her teenage years. Got eighty dollars for the stooge. Wow, she paid eighty bucks for that stupid thing. Stupid pendant. And I think I think Sam I think I think Lonnie's gonna break her heart. Probably the nature here is back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mystery or silent. 
and then I... <sighs> Different than back home, I keep thinking of Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island, and even the plants get out of it. And then I think of them together, but out there in the wilderness, I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed, and I almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Lonnie. So they sent her to Mexico. Whoops. Some stuff in the garbage? No. Wait, what's that though? It's like a drug. The first time was in my room in the middle of the night. I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The clock said 3.13. Her face was... Oh, nice. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. I'm going to finish this game tonight. I get the feeling. Oh, what's that? Wow, there's stuff for my dad. Oh, man. From two thousand from nineteen twenty three, jeez. Don't think I see anything else back here. I like this because you know, I like wandering around trying to find things about houses and stuff like that, so this is a lot of fun. I am extremely enjoying this game. If you are still sticking with me, that's awesome. If not, hey, whatever. Some kind of a lighting thing going on there. Ledger, Masson's Pharmacy, 1968. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been 
to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit, here you come, L. <laughs> That's funny. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick yeah, group. nice metaphor. Metaphorical. Costume skeletons and devils cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral... That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it's so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real awesome. Everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Dear Miss Grinbriar, I appreciate the time and effort. You put into writing your letter, it showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your compliment that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your blocker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and... She's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Evans to Betsy. Kicking against the patriarchy. Heard enough, had enough. The great Unfollow of 95. This one's for you, Grossman. Wind blows. Where are we at, anyway? 
Oh, behind a door.